my worthy designers? Yes, you are a worthy designer because here we embrace our creativity journey no matter where we are at. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to create a fillable document that you can send to your clients in order to get content from them when you're creating a project like a website. So websites specifically, I need a lot of content from them. I need every single page content and I need their photos. I need their logos. There's a lot of information. So the most streamlined way I have found is to create one document where I collect all of that information and include boxes for them to fill out. So how do I get them to fill out a document? Okay, so one, I have done this through my content management system, which is HoneyBook. You can create questionnaires in HoneyBook, and I have done this, and I do like HoneyBook very, very much. However, some of the stuff I like to edit on Canva, I have the Canva Pro account, and I can create the document in it, make it look pretty, make it look branded to my company, and then I can send it to my clients so that they can fill it out. So there are two ways you can do this. One is in Acrobat Pro, and I'll show you how to do that. You will need to add fillable boxes to the entire document, and I will show you how to do that. This is how I have done it for many, many years because I've been using Acrobat for a really, really long time. But um, now that most people have Canva, it's pretty easy to sign up for an account. I have been sending people template links to the Canva document, and I will show you how to do that as well. So you can either jump to the Canva part or stay for the Acrobat PDF part. Either way, you're gonna have to help your client how to create a, an account on either platform. Okay, so let's get to it. So right now I am in Canva. Why am I in Canva? Because I am making this for you guys so that you can download it and use this as your own. So this is my website content planner that I send to my clients. This is a planner that I have developed over the many websites that I have done and the branding classes that I've done and the strategy classes that I've done. So it's kind of a culmination of all of that so that I can get some good information and this really helps me create a high converting website for my clients in a really short amount of time. So this is in a Canva document. So what you wanna do is download the PDF. So right now I have it in Canva. We're going to download the PDF version first and then we're going to open it in Acrobat Pro. So we're gonna download, we're gonna to go to PDF standard and we're gonna hit download. Now to check to see if you have access to Acrobat Pro, go to your Creative Cloud and if you have it, it should be up in your top navigation bar. Okay, so when you open up your document in Acrobat Pro, it might look like this. So where this tool is, this menu over on the left that says all tools. It used to be on the right, so it might be on the right on your version, depends on what version you have, but it says all tools. So when we click on all tools, it actually doesn't show up in this list. So you have to click view more. <laughs> Now we're gonna go to prepare a form. Now it's going to say create a form. If you want to capture signatures, you can also do signatures, say if you have a contract or something, but we are going to say create form. Oh, it says it could not read the page, so it's not gonna do it automatically. Sometimes it can detect fields and fill it in for you, but right now this it doesn't like this one. So we're gonna have to do this manually, and which is fine because I wanna show you how to do this. So first let's find a spot where we've got a fillable section. So all these gray boxes I want my client to fill out. So right here is a fillable box. So how we do that is we're gonna go over to the left where it says add form components. We just want a text field. Now it's going to Create a box, and now look, it's automatically gonna create another box. So if you'd like to adjust this one, you're gonna have to click on the selection tool and dra drag it out. One more step before you leave is you're gonna right click on this text box and click properties. One of the things that I wish was automatic is that when you have a text box, it doesn't automatically allow people to create 
multiple lines. So see how we're going through text field properties. If you go to options, we want it left alignment. That's already set. That's fine. Check spelling, yes. However, multi-line is not checked, which means they would only be able to type one line and it wouldn't let them do any more. So I have to click multi-line in each text box for them to be able to write like a paragraph. So unfortunately, I wish that was automatically set, but it is not. If there's any other settings you wanna change in here, like font size, any of that, you can't really control fonts a lot because people have different fonts on their computers but you can control maybe font size, say if you want it to be smaller. But just keep in mind, you're gonna have to do this on every single text box. So we're gonna hit close, and we're gonna do this, repeat this process with the other text boxes. Now, once you have your fillable form all filled out, you wanna test it and make sure that it's gonna work for your clients. So we're gonna exit out of the form program and see when I hover over this gray box, my cursor turns into a writing tool. So if I click on it, I can see that I can type in here and I can make multiple sentences, which is exactly what we want. Now we're gonna make sure and save this so that it saves all the work that we've done. Now make sure before you download the PDF and you create all these form boxes that your PDF is solid and that you don't have any changes because it's a lot of work to go through and make all those boxes. So make sure that you really don't have any edits because if you find any spelling errors or anything, you're gonna to have to go back and do the whole process again, and it's just a lot of work. The other website you can use is called pdffiller.com. This one is online, so you don't need Acrobat, but it still has the text boxes. So like I said, it, it can detect some of the boxes, but it doesn't detect all of them, and you might have to adjust some of them to fit the gray box correctly. Some of them are off, like since some of these are filled. So like some of them got missed here. So I would have to, we're gonna say edit fillable forms and we're gonna add a text box and it's going to place it here and then we can adjust the size to fit it here. And there's things like the field name and if you need any text, like pre-text to help your clients out with what to say there, um, making it a required field. These are all also you can do in Acrobat Pro as well. So same things you can do in Acrobat Pro, you can do in PDF Filler, it's just a monthly fee. Now, when you're ready to send this to your clients, give them some helpful tips on how they can edit this. I have had some clients who could not edit the PDF. So maybe create a video or some kind of tutorial that shows them how to open it in Acrobat. There are free versions of Acrobat Reader for anybody. They don't have to have Acrobat Pro to edit this. So if they have Acrobat Reader, they're allowed to open it. And if they click on the gray boxes, they should be able to edit it, save it, and then send it to you with all the information. Okay, option number two, if you want to send your clients the Canva, template you can so sending a canva template they only just need to have a canva account most people do they don't need to pay for it it's completely free what you're going to send them is not your original document though what you're going to send them is the template link and i'm going to show you how to do that when you send them a template link they will get a separate copy so it won't mess up your original copy it will send them a new copy the only thing I do recommend highly is locking all of the background images and locking all the text that you don't want to move. So when the client goes in, they're not gonna accidentally move, doc move boxes or move text or edit any of that. You lock everything and so then they can type on top of it and not worry about messing up your original design. So how you lock elements in Canva so anything you wanna lock, you just select it and there's this lock position up at the top. So you can select multiple items and hit lock and hit lock. So now when you download this, then they get the copy, they can't move any of this stuff. 
The only thing they're going to need to do, so say we're going to lock all of this page. In order for them to type on this, they are going to have to have a text box. Now you can add this text box uh, for them. So that might help them see where the copy goes. So you would say body copy here. And if you know how to automatically duplicate with your keystrokes, it is shift option and then drag and that will move the body copy and box. And you can even left justify these. Okay, so how you create a template link. I'm pretty sure you need Canva Pro for a template link. So there's template link here, or there's also, if you don't see it up in the top, there's more. If you click on more, you're gonna see a template link here. So we're gonna click on this. Anyone with the link can use this design as a template. Sign in is required. Okay, so we're gonna say create template link and then make sure and copy this link. And then when we paste it into a new window, you can see it will say a template was created to share with you and click on this and be able to edit it. So up to you which preference you want to do either to create a PDF fillable form or a Canva template link. They do need to have a Canva account and with Adobe, they do need to have Acrobat Reader. So two options for you as far as getting your clients to send you their information, make sure and give them a deadline. <laughs> On the first page, I have a deadline and then if there's any late fees, if they don't turn it in on time. So if you would like this document, this document is over on my website, um, available for sale. This is a non-branded template so that you can brand it to your own branding, add your own logos and colors and fonts and all of that. So hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.